Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mini Masterpiece Theater Watercolor Workshop. In this video, I'm going to be showing how to create these fun little, um, this little fun heart bouquet. Since this is February, and our and our monthly theme has been love, and so I thought that this would be appropriate. So, if you want to see how, stay tuned. Let's get started. All right. So for today's project, I'm working on, um, I believe this is six by nine. You can work on whatever size makes sense to you and whichever orientation makes sense to you. I try to do it landscape because I'm trying to fit it in the screen the best for you guys. And that just works better. Um, so it's not ideal for the idea that I have, but I think I'm going to, I'm just going to try to make it work. I have my mixing wells available. I have two jars of water, one that I use for dirty, one I use for clean. So when I'm going back into the paint, um, I try to dip into the clean. And then when I'm just rinsing my brush, I go into the dirty. I have my, my watercolor palette. And these are the colors that are in my palette. I will be using today, these are M. Graham. Um, I will be using today, of course, a mix of some of the reds and maybe yellows to get a variety of, of red and maybe orange and yellow hearts for a heart bouquet. And then I have my, my, my drying rag, which is just a cotton diaper, believe it or not, <laughs> works really get great. And the brush I'm using is a Blick Master uh, Pure Squirrel. This is probably all I'll be using, but um, I'll let you know if I if I change that, obviously. Um, but that's what I'm going to be using, and it's a size six, but just be aware that different brands have different sizes. So use the size that makes sense for your project. I use, you know, it's, it's pretty small and has a nice fine tip on it. That's what I want. And, um, and then the special guest star for today <laughs> is a, what my dad calls toot to toots. Um, he uses them to, to store like cables and things in them, but I'm going to be using it to create a stamp. So all I've done is created a crease on one end and then a little dip in the top to create a heart shape. Now, if you have a heart stamp or some heart shaped, you know, trinket or box or something like that, that would work as a stamp to dip in the paint to get your heart shape, you're welcome to use that. Um, and I also thought of an idea, which I'm going to try because I was thinking maybe I want different size hearts. I do actually have rubber stamps, but I wanted to try to use something that anybody might have around their house. So that's where I'm starting because not everybody has rubber stamps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut this in half because I really only need, you know, one end of it in theory. I really don't want this one to be a sharp end of it on the top. Okay, and I don't care if it's a little wonky. But what I was thinking of is maybe I could make a smaller variation of it. And see, now I have a smaller heart. So I just wanted a couple different sizes. And you can even kind of change up the shape of it as you go. Like I could, I could stamp one like this. I could stamp one like that. You know, so I could kind of, you know, I could squash it this way. So I can kind of change up my stamps. Basically what I'm going to be doing is dipping this into the paint and then putting it down on the page. And then I'm going to move the pigment on the page. And I wanna make a bouquet. So what I think I'm gonna do is make kind of like a little squat base and have it be sort of a, a bouquet, you know, a, a horizontal bouquet. But of course you can make whatever, you know, orientation of that you want. I was thinking about whether I wanted any background color. I think I'm going to leave that just white for now. And I might go ahead and put in some something, but I don't really want to um, lay down a pigment that then might contaminate the, the reds because I want those to really pop. So I think I'm just going to leave it white for now. All right. 
So the first thing I want to do, and I'm going to need a bigger brush for this part. I'm just going to mix up a nice concentrated solution of paint. I think I want, to, I want a few different colors. So I think I'm going to make like a, a kind of a, this darkest red, another medium red, and then maybe a yellow. And those will be my kind of like my inks for stamp for the stamping idea. So I'm just going to get some paint in these wells. Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Uh, if you have any questions, you can post them in the videos as well. And as always, happy creating.
and happy painting. <laughs>